Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos and today's video we have this very special package come all the way from the other side of the world uh, good old down under Australia uh, one of my good friends, the CoinTuber CoinStruck, uh, managed to get one of me one of these from uh, Australia and I'm really happy because I tried to order one from Australia Post but they don't dispatch internationally so CoinStruck, the gentleman he is, managed to get me a hold of one and I'm sending him a little something in return so hopefully he shows that video as well um, if not, no worries um, but let's get into it and I'll show you what he sent me just speed up this bit where we tear it open. Here we are. What we have here is the great Aussie coin hunt. All 26 A to Z coins, $1 coins, are in this tube, which I'm quite excited about. We have the wee album here, similar to our A to Z album. Was A to Z of everything Australian. So I'm quite excited to fill this up. Let's crack on and do this. There we go. Finally opened it up there. Hooray! A little bit different to bank bags, isn't it? So what we have here, I'm just going to have a wee look at this. Where's your back cover? <laughs> I like this. Good day. And it's got all the little, it's just like our A to Z album. Got a little bit of everything, celebrating Australia. There you go. So I'm going to pop that out there. And one by one, let's investigate these coins. Should really, these are all brilliant uncirculated, I believe. Should really handle them with gloves, shouldn't I? Stop me with some way. There we go. <laughs> Get the gloves on. Bought these for a reason. Might as well use them. There we go. Right. There we go. One dollar Australia Post. Two thousand nineteen Australia Queen Elizabeth with the Ian Rank Broadley portrait. So, a celebrating Australia Post. That's quite a nice design, actually. I do like these. Let's move these to the side and we'll f start filling up the album as we go. So there's our A for Australia Post. Pop that into there. Next one. Oh, here we go. A bit slippy with the gloves. Boomerang. <laughs> Brilliant, I like that. There you go. The obverse will be the same in all of them, but so we'll focus from now on on just the uh, reverses. Pop that into there. I like this. I do like this pack. C. Just like our 10 pence, C stands for cricket. Really nice. I do like this set. I'm so glad I managed to get a hold of one. So a big thank you to Coinstruck. C for Coinstruck and Caledonian Coins. And there's D, not for Darren sadly, but it's for Didgeridoo. Something else that makes a, a, a loud noise, <laughs> not just me. <laughs> Here we go. Pop D in for Didgeridoo. Straighten that up a wee bit. Nice. And next. Oops, <laughs> I slipped out my hands. That's the gloves doing that. E for Esky. Which is like a, a cooler, like a beer cooler thing. That's pretty cool. Here we are. Next one. F for foot, footy. That's a Aussie rules football, of course. I actually used to watch this back in the, was it the late 90s, early 2000s, I think it was. Used to have it on Channel 4. Yeah. Used to look fun. Pretty rough, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good sport, though. Quite exciting. There we go, next one. G for good day. <laughs> I like that. Good day. Try to say it. 
I'll try not to do the accent because I sound I always sound terrible when I do accents and don't want my channel closed down. <laughs> next up, next up, next up. Let's see what we have here. Hitch for Hills Hoist. That's like a whirly gig, isn't it? Yeah, it's like our uh, we have a whirly gig. It's very similar to that. Nice. Put that in there. And I. What does I stand for? Ice Vovo. Which is like a kind of a like an ice cream sandwich biscuit kind of thing, isn't it? I can't remember. I know my brother stays out in Australia and he was saying that they put the biscuits in the fridge. But the biscuits are different to what we call consider biscuits. More like uh, ice cream, I think. I don't know. Maybe someone will educate me. I haven't spoken to my brother in a long time, to be honest, so hey. There we are. J for Jackaroo and Jillaroo. Look how look. They look awesome. That just looks awesome. <laughs> Whoops. And there we are. Next one. Okay, it had to be. Just had to be. Kangaroo. I do like the marsupials and the different diverse species you get in Australia. In you go. Fantastic. And next up, we're on L. For Lamington. Is that the, the ice cream sandwich then? I don't know. I'll have to check this out. The, the website on Australia Post actually goes through each letter and tells you a little bit about each coin. So I'll definitely have to do that at the end of this video, just so I know I'm not talking nonsense. <laughs> I'll correct myself if need be. These are awesome. <laughs> this this is definitely for me. M for meat pie. I'm at home now. <laughs> when can I when can I move over? <laughs> nah. Just, I'll get a meat pie sent to me in the PO box. <laughs> That'll be the next thing. <laughs> Perfect. And that's us halfway. So let's see if a look at that. N for neighbours and Ramsey Street. My mum would like this one. I think she still watches it actually. Put that end up for up there. And come on. In you get. That's a wee bit dodged that one there. Hope that doesn't fly out. And oh, for Outback. It had to be a. Uh, pop all for Outback. Oh, nice. Try not to rush too much. There's P for platypus. <laughs> Do you like the diverse species that you get down there? It's really lovely. <laughs> it's different to us. What's next? After P comes Q. Oh, the is it Quaka? Quaka? These are these are brilliant. I saw these on, uh, was it QI the other day? These are the ones that have selfies. They're just, they're, I think they're nocturnal creatures, but they, they come out and their whole habits come out and changed and they just hang out during the day and love to have selfies with people. They're just so naturally in, natural in front of the camera. Cute. Aha, <laughs> they're cute. I do like them. And there's R for the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Another vital part of Australian culture. Now S, what will S be? Surf Life Saving. Look at that. Put that there. Scared I'll buckle them by accident. <laughs> there we go. 
and tea for thongs. Now, <laughs> over here, that, that means something completely different. Um, but yeah, thongs. That's yeah, I said it. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, thongs mean something. I'll have different part of a uh, clothing. But over there, they mean these sandals. <laughs> It's funny how like one word over here could mean one thing and another word over there could... The same word over there means something completely different. There we go. You for a uh, ute, utility truck. Usually a Toyota or something like that or... Very, very handy for when you're out in the outback. V, Vegemite, blah, I've got to admit, I'm not a fan of Marmite, I've probably never tried Vegemite, but I've had, if there was nothing else to eat, I'd get a bash, see what it was, <laughs> there we are, V for Vegemite, just four left, and there's W, oh, Wheat Bix, I'm starting to get hungry, all these foods. Meat pie, wheat bricks. Mmm. X1. There we go, X. Now, I'll probably butcher the pronunciation of this. It's near Perth, Western Australia. Is it Zantip? Zantip? I'll have to, someone will have to write it out the proper pronunciation of it oh don't drop that oh no it survived it's perfectly fine there we go that's what i get for wearing the gloves i guess slippy hands put that into there and why for yowie <laughs> <laughs> that looks like me in the morning. <laughs> it really does. Wow. That's incredible. Is that like a cryptozoological creature? There we go. Like we have the Sasquatch or Yeti, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster. You have the Yowie. And here we go, the last but not least, the Zuper Dupers. They've even got all the flavours written on them. Look at that. Orange, pineapple, lime, bubblegum, raspberry, cola, fairy floss, and blackcurrant. Super dupers. What are they? Must be chewy sticks or something. I don't know. You'll have to tell me all about them, or even better, tell me where I can buy them. <laughs> so, that's all 26 coins done. I'll close the coin roll thing again. Get the gloves off and let's admire the, the album now it's full. Uh, try not make the video too long. Right, there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? A to Z, Australian culture. Just like we have our A to Z 10 pences, these are available in Australian uh, currency for collecting. Wow, I do like these. So, I'm going to dash off there now. Thank you for watching, and thank you Coinstruck for sending me this. This is a big lifesaver, because I tried to get it originally, and like I say, Australia Post don't dispatch internationally, and my relatives in Australia are unavailable to help at the moment uh, due to other matters. Uh, I think my brother, he's doing a charity boxing match, so he's kind of focusing on that. Anyway... Not bored to death with my family story. <laughs> I'll be off. I'll catch you in the next video. And if you're having a hunt, have a happy one. I'll see you later.